you've got a DJI Nero, by now you're probably wondering how to get better footage from it. And um, one of the ways, of course, is by using filters. Today we're going to look at the Freewell filters. This is the Everyday 3 pack. It's a UV polarizing and cinematic filter set. And this is the ND filters. Now there's a lot of misinformation out there. So today we're going to debunk this. I'll also give you a quick tutorial on the maths behind choosing the right filter and we'll demonstrate that in the field and show you the effects of using all these filters. But firstly, let's look in the box. You get of course your nice cleaning filters and then this firm plastic box made of plastic so you wouldn't want to crush or drop it, but perfectly adequate for holding the three filters. And then this is where the mount is kept a little bit of foam that covers that and you've got two of these mounts and they have sticky back tape there and all you do is you peel off that white surface and then you carefully stick it onto the um, outer edge of the lens and then how you have it is you keep it vertically like that with the thicker edges at the side and thinner edges at the top and then the filters will clip over that quite securely. So what are ND filters and how do they work? Well you've probably heard the term the sunglasses for your lens which is true but if you just pop one of these on your lens and you leave this in auto it'll make no difference at all because the internal process will just auto expose the image, it'll adjust the ISO to be able to compensate and give a correct exposure so it'll make no difference at all apart from push the ISO up. Now the goal is to bring the shutter count down. So if you've got a very fast shutter count, you're taking lots of sharp frames so you get a very digitalized video type image. If you want it to be more cinematic like cinema movie they work to 1 over 24 1 25th of a second frame count and that's natural to what our eye and our brain sees and that gives a little bit of motion blur so it's like the motion blur that we see so that gives a much more natural view so to be able to get that from a drone then you need to put it into manual mode and know which filter to bring it down from a high shutter count on a bright sunny day down to the 1 over 24, 1 over 25 shutter count. And how we work that out, the maths behind it is, you've got three things you can change, the f-stop, the shutter or the ISO. Now these have a fixed f1.7, other drones might be a fixed f.8, uh, 2.8 so whatever they're fixed so that we can't change the ISO we can change so let's say we fix it to ISO 100 so that now leaves the shutter bright sunny day that's going to have to produce a very sharp fast shutter count to be able to stop too much light coming in so if we put an ND filter on, we can lower that shutter count to be able to get that smoother footage. So how do we know which ND filter to use? Well, ND2 to ND4 is one stop. ND4 to ND8 is two stops. You keep doubling it each time and that gives you the stop. Now, in camera terms, to bring your shutter down, you halve it and that will be one stop. So let's say nice sunny day, the correct exposure would be we fixed, we've got a fixed f stop, we fix the ISO at 100, it naturally wants to be shooting at um, 1 over 800, 1 800th, and we want to bring it down, so let's halve it to 1 over 400 half it again to 1 over 200, 1 over 100, 1 over 50, 1 over 25. We take it down five stops. So which ND filter do we use? ND2, ND4, ND8, ND16, ND32. We would put on 
an ND32. So at first it seems a little bit complicated, but when you practice that, it'll be much easier. So we'll go out into the field and I'll show you how we actually work this out in practice. But first, let's go out and talk about these filters. Well, we're just off to the airport to go to Tunisia and uh, not only we're going to have a holiday, of course, but we're going to try out these new filters. Firstly, we're going to look at the Everyday 3 pack and to do that, we're at this fabulous location in Tunisia. So let's just go and take a look. So the Everyday 3 pack has the three filters in it, the UV, CPL and G-Mist filters. Now the UV is the ultraviolet filter and that'll really help us when the sun's quite low or you're filming into the sun and it'll stop any glare off of the water or any haze uh, in the image as you're filming uh, towards sunlight. The CPL is the circular polarizing filter and again that helps with glare and haze but it'll also really hold the natural colors in the image and then there's G-Mist which is glow and mist which will just give you a very soft cinematic feel to your footage. These filters you can use with the drone just in automatic settings. back in the UK now and we're going to use those filters again but this time it's about minus two it's really fresh out there and the sun's quite low and quite bright so we'll be able to see them being used in a completely different environment. I'm now going to use the ND filters to film some moving traffic so we can experiment with which ND filter to use and also what's the different effects when I change the shutter speed to any motion blur in our footage. So I've got my light meter here so we can just see what the exposure should be. Let's take a reading. Okay, so if I set my ISO at 100 and reduce the f-stop to 1.7, so I've got 1.8, and that gives me a shutter count of 1 over 800, 1 800. So that's as we said in the studio, that will give us an ND filter of 32. So just to go through it again, 800, 400, 200, 100, 50, 25. So that's what we want to bring the shutter down to start to see a bit more motion blur. And we're going to film these cars moving through here just to see the difference. So I'll do it first. Um, at a higher shutter count and then I'll repeat it 
with the lower shutter count so we can see in post-production what that effect is like. So let's just get the drone in the air and see how that looks. Now we're going to change it to the ND filter. So I'm using the ND16 now and I've got the drone higher in the sky, it's a bit brighter and I'm just going to fly it through the air and just see how it picks out the clouds and uh, any noise in the image. So a different type of test now just to look at the quality that we get while we're using the ND filter. I've still set the shutter speed at 30 so we're still controlling that so also to see how stable it is. Uh, in the air because obviously it's digital stabilization so it prefers a higher shutter count. I hope you found that interesting and you learned a lot as you could see they work quite well you can have loads of fun you can get some different effects and they fitted on really nicely well unless you bump into something like I did in the last clip but uh, otherwise they're cracking little products so there's a product link in the description below if you're interested in these. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below because I do respond to everything. And if you're interested in more videos on the Neo, there's a playlist over here. Show me the love by clicking the button up there to subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon for notifications. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video over there.